What's up everybody, it's Spencer's Bike Hacks back with another video and in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to wash your dirty bike. So I'm just going to get some shots here. You can see I was um, down riding and it was pretty dirty. So I was riding in a lot of mud so there's a lot of just little mud on here. Otherwise I mean it's decently clean but this right here is not good. So I'm going to show you guys how to clean it in depth and I apologize for any noises coming from the outside world because it is pretty rainy right now so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'm going to show you guys in depth how to wash your bikes at home with very simple tools you could always put it on a bike stand and have special brushes but most of you guys aren't going to have that stuff so I'm going to teach you how to wash a bike with a few very simple things first we have our bucket right here of soapy water you could use downy degreaser I wouldn't recommend degreaser because it could take off the clear coat on your bike but what I do have I have my wash mitt, I have a few of these small little brushes right here, I have a pretty big brush right here for my wheels, and this right here is going to be a smaller brush for details. So you can see it's, I can see right now it's steaming just a little bit, except it's just warm water, I can put my hand in there, so let's get straight to using the bike. One more thing, we're also going to need this, and our drying mitt, so stay tuned. Number one is we're going to want our water on a jet setting, and we're just going to do a quick rundown, so pretty much just knock off all the dirt. Right now what you want to do is you just want to get your bucket right here and you want to get your wash mitt right here. I'm going to throw this on your hand like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like this and do it out and then I'm just going to hold my bike and I'm just going to get it every little nook and cranny right here. So I'm just using car soap except you could use whatever soaps you want. I prefer pretty much downy and stuff like that, except I know some people can't have it and then if your bike's really, really bad, you could always just use a normal degreaser and that would be fine. So you want to make sure to get around your fork seals and one thing you don't want to do is you do not want to focus on your fork seals with the jet because it will damage the seals and it won't be good. So pretty much right now, I'm not even really hitting like the chain and the dirty, dirty areas. I'm getting like seat, seat posts and like my frame where it's normally a little bit dirty. Now I'm just gonna grab my bike. I'm gonna flip it, hit the other side up. Focus right under there because that's where a lot of the fly up was from. want to get under all the tubes, stuff like that. All right, so after we have our whole bike washed like this, what I like to do is I like to focus on the tires because the tires get very dirty. So I'm just gonna take my watch off so I don't get any water on it, even though it is waterproof come down here and I'm gonna get my big brush like this. I'm gonna make sure that this is in here and I'm just gonna scrub these. I know some people might like it and find it easier if you just take off the wheels and you could do that, but it's I'm not worried too much about it because I could get most of the surface. Simple. All right guys, after we've got our tires done, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come in here and get one of my small brushes and I'm gonna go in all the really small tight places. One thing is my shifters. It's a very important part because a lot of people miss those. All right, get it in the brakes, under the brakes. I'm gonna get in all those tight corners. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go in my forks like this to surround the seals and knock out some of the debris that's gotten in there. Make sure to clean off the little caps. 
and this next part right here is going we're going to be getting in the chain so I'm just going to get up here and my cranks and my bike's going to fall which actually makes it a little bit easier I'm going to make sure to get up the pedals because the pedals are very dirty and it's alright if you don't get these perfect I mean they're going to get dirty no matter what so but as you can see right in here we're going to get this brush right here and we're just gonna get in every little spot all right I'm gonna focus on the derailleur just a little bit with this brush get under the seat with this brush a little bit all right after that we're gonna come over to this side right here flip the bike one more time and we're just gonna get this crank right here gonna get into that little hole because I'm running a two-piece bikes gonna fall over again of course but I'm just gonna Hit up this section right here, make sure you get underneath the crank right here because that could have a lot of dirt on it. Like right here. Just gonna get behind the chain ring. All right. We're gonna pick up our bike and what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our chain now. So the chain, we're just going to do a little bit of scrubbing right here with a stiff bristle brush. So we just want to get off all the contaminants and just give it a pretty good scrub right here. Want to get the tops, want to get the bottoms, want to get underneath. And we're just going to pedal it back a little bit right here. And we're just going to get a little bit more of every bit. It's alright if it's not perfect. And if you're gonna replace your chain, don't even worry about it. Cause you're gonna have a brand new chain with brand new oil on it. All right. Cool, so now, after we've done our chain up a little bit, you wanna get another one of these brushes and you wanna get them hubs. Cause the, the hubs get very dirty, so. Move our tire up a little bit like that. Go between the spokes, that'll make your life a lot easier. Alright, now I'm gonna get the front, which aren't as bad. Now we're done with this, so now we're gonna do a fun part again. Except we're not gonna use the jet. We're gonna come over to a shower. Well, that just got my foot wet. So we're gonna come, this one's very nice, light E1. So we're just gonna come from the top. And we're gonna get in every little place again. We're just gonna wash off all the dirt and all the soap that we had. Sure to get back under the seat. All right. Now what we're gonna do? We're just gonna flip our bike. And the ram's coming up my street. All right, we're gonna make sure we wash every little bit off. Get back under the seat. So, that right there is gonna be our clean bike. You see, this stuff right here is really just caked on, so I'm not gonna worry too much about that, but now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna drop it a little bit. Just try to get away from all the water. So 
So now that we dropped it, we got a few bits of water off and we're gonna come back over to here and we're just gonna get it all off our wall. Because a dirty wall is not fun. Come over to a jet, right here. And work your way from the top to the bottom because gravity makes everything go down. All right, now that we've done this, I'm gonna take you guys right into my workshop and I'm gonna dry it for you. Okay guys, so now I have a dirty towel and I have my little pick and what we're gonna do, we're going to come up behind here and we're just gonna very lightly brush out any of the contaminants that might be in here. You don't wanna push down because you'll ruin your seals and that won't be good. You just wanna get out as much of the little crud as you can. Now picks come in handy for a lot more things than this right here. All right, yeah, look right there, you got a big blob out. You wanna come over to your other side right here. You wanna do the same thing, like that, and there you go. Now I'm just gonna wash my forks with this because there's not too much. It's just really light debris, so it's not gonna scratch my stanchions or anything. And one thing that I would recommend is using compressed air. Compressed air makes this a lot easier. All right. So now that we have this done, I'm going to get my clean towels right here. And I'm just going to dry off the surface. Now, I don't know what this white got in there from or anything, but I mean, that stuff right there doesn't even come out with anything. So, I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to get in all these places, and this is what an air compressor is really good for. You could get in all those tight little places right there. Dry your caps, get them back on. So, I'm going to be doing a brake bleed video pretty soon. It's a really simple thing, except it's pretty complex if you don't have the tools. I mean, it's basically impossible if you don't have the tools. So, I'm gonna show you that and then I'm gonna link to a specific bleed kit that I have for my bike because I'm running Shimano, which they use mineral oil and it's a super easy thing. And I know Seth's Bike Hacks actually use baby oil instead of bike-specific mineral oil. So, Apparently it actually worked out, which I'm shocked about, but I'm not shocked about because, I mean, it is just mineral oil. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link to the big container I have of fluid, which it was only like 22 bucks. So, I mean, that's a steal right there. Alright. This is where it gets a little bit tighter. I'm going to make sure you get in every little place. Crank arms, your pedals. Alright, so this side right here is looking pretty good. Just gonna flip my bike around over here now. Hit up this side. And you can see my paint chipped a little bit, which this wouldn't happen to your bike because I've repainted this bike and put clear coat on it. So this bike is going through already four colors, but I mean this one, this bike was a piece of garbage. Now it's still a piece of garbage, but it's a good piece of garbage. So all that this all the extra little dirt that's not coming out with any of my other things and as you can see I'm not focusing on the wheels or the chain with this specific rag because those are going to be different I'm just specifically like, ah, I don't know what I'm saying now I'm just focusing on the parts that are metal and easy to clean next I'm gonna go get my dirty towel right here and then I'm just gonna wash off and wipe, wipe off my tires and rings and hubs and all that fun stuff. This one's also gonna be used for your chain because it's pretty dirty. So I'm gonna come right over to here, wipe this off, wipe off all the water from my tires. Then I'm gonna get this bike and I'm gonna flip it around one more time. Actually not one more time because I have my chain, so two more times. 
So your tires, you don't have to worry about getting them too, too dry because they will dry up and it'll be perfect. And don't really focus on your tread that much. You just want to focus on like your rims and your hubs and stuff like that. So now that we have that part done, we're going to come over here and we're going to do our chain. So I'd recommend you have your clutch on for this. It's just gonna make it a little bit stiffer. So I'm just gonna run my pedals backwards right here. All right. Come from under here, it might be a little bit easier. All right, so as you see guys, now we have a pretty clean bike and it is ready for you guys to ride. So when the tires all dry up, I'm gonna go put some pictures in there and I'm also going to be putting in some clips from my ride yesterday, which got this bike really dirty. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will get back to you guys whenever we're done and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some chain lube on my chain. That's just gonna make sure that it doesn't wear out for like premature wear out. And, and I'm gonna run it through all my gears and it's gonna be perfect. That's the most important part. You never wanna run a drive train. That's going to ruin the longevity of your drivetrain components and they could be very expensive. So I'll throw in some clips right now and thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot. This is Spencer's Bike Hacks and I'm signing out. So the first one I over jumped a little bit. So I'm gonna come in there a little slower and then I'm gonna pick up some speed. Avoid that rock. Over these roots, the drop's gonna be coming up. Right here. So I'm just gonna roll past this right here like that. Here we go. Now time to tread. See, it took a different way this time. Did that jump right there. Lo and behold, we're back on this track right here. We're on this little berm. We're on that little berm. Up and over here. Take out her. I hate this part. Take another cut berm. More berms. And there we go.